Today, I want to talk to you about when it's wrong to pray. I'm going to read you from Exodus chapter 14, verse 15, where we read this. And the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. The situation in Exodus 14 was desperate, with the Egyptian army charging against the defenseless people of Israel. There was nowhere to go except through the impossible, through the waters of the Red Sea right in front of them. Moses did what a spiritual man would do. He prayed. However, it was the wrong thing to do at the time. It wasn't the time to pray. It was time to act. God asked Moses, Why do you cry to me? The answer seemed obvious. Lord, I cry to you because there's nothing else to do. We're going to be destroyed in a matter of hours unless you do something. But there is a time to pray and a time not to pray. Moses had his times mixed up. Sometimes it's the wrong time to pray. The Bible does say that we should live in an attitude of constant communication with God, thus fulfilling the command to pray without ceasing. That's in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Yet there's also a kind of separated, I'm doing nothing else but praying right now kind of prayer. For that kind of prayer, sometimes it's the wrong time. It can be against God's will to stop doing and to pray in a particular situation. It's also wrong to pray out of wrong motives. Sometimes we pray selfishly, not just asking things for ourselves, which isn't necessarily wrong, but asking things to meet our selfish desires and ambitions. That's the wrong kind of prayer. It's also wrong to pray with others intending to inform those who listen. Some people who think that they never gossip do a lot of gossiping in prayer meetings. Instead of talking to God in prayer, they use prayer as a time to tell others gossipy things in a holy setting. That's the wrong kind of prayer. It's wrong to pray to control a situation with just the right touch of a holy tone in their voice, some people know how to say, let's pray. Then they pray, talking to people more than to God, hoping to influence others instead of crying out to God. That's the wrong kind of prayer. But as we see right here in Exodus 14, it's also wrong to pray to avoid action. When asked to do something, Many people say, let me pray about it, and they never pray about it at all. They may think about it or talk to others about it, but they don't pray about it at all. Or if they do pray about it, they don't really seek God about it. For them, prayer is more of a delaying tactic than seeking the face of God. That's the wrong kind of prayer. It's a testimony to our fallen humanity that we can take something as good and holy as prayer and use it in wrong ways. May God help as you and I pray more in the right ways and less in the wrong ways. And we can pray in a way pleasing to God today.